Ladies and gentle bitches, welcome back to HT Hayes, your premium supplier of emotional content. My name is Hamilton Troy Hayes, and I have a few things to say before we get into the Lao video. Now, if you don't really care, which is totally cool, you just want to see the reaction video, there's going to be a timestamp on the screen right now where you can just skip to that and start enjoying the album because oh my god it is so good if you do care a little bit and you want to stick around there are two things that i want to let you guys in on the first thing being i just deleted <laughs> uh instagram and twitter off my phone for the next 30 days because oh my god i just need it it's so bad i've been in a dark place for i want to say to the last two months. Quarantine has not really treated me very well at all. Uh, so I am just taking a big old break from social media. But don't worry, if you wanna talk to me, the second thing I wanna tell you guys about is my Patreon. I just started a Patreon, and that's awesome because I am so behind on that. So if you want to support this channel, you wanna support me, my reactions, my music, Anything about this channel, if it brings you joy and you want to support me, there is now a place where you can do that. There are three different tiers. The first tier is, I believe, $5 a month. It includes access to our private Discord channel where we talk about albums. You know, you guys give me recommendations to do full videos on. You get my Twitch schedule for when I'm going on Twitch and reacting live or when I'm playing music live. Or you can just hang out. We talk about anime. We share memes. It's actually really, really fun. But if you don't, if you don't have $5, if you don't have anything totally cool, you just watching my videos right now makes me so happy. So please do not feel pressured to give me any money if you truly do not have it. That being said, the other thing on the, on the uh, Patreon for the first tier is that you get your name at the end of every video. So that means you are truly going to be a part of these videos. That's all I wanted to say. Enjoy love. I'll see you guys on, well, I guess I won't see you guys on Twitter because I deleted it, but I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, healthy, and strong, and enjoy love. Peace. <sighs> Damn. That's a really powerful song, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm tearing up. Was that clap loud enough? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I literally went, what is up, my little dill pickers? It is your boy, H.T. Hayes, but my friends call me Troy. Welcome back to the channel. And as usual, you've read the title of the video, so you know exactly what we're doing today. Today, we're listening to the brand new, highly anticipated, pushed back <laughs> live album called How I'm Feeling with the little squigglies. I like the little squigglies. I think it's cute. I like the little squigglies. It makes me feel like I'm listening to someone's MySpace playlist back in like 2009. Jesus, I bet y'all don't even know what MySpace is. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about how I know love. My girlfriend, Angela, the love of my life, five years ago, randomly texted me this song called Reforget. Now, if you're an OG Lao fan, you know exactly what this song is. This is a heater. Reforget is so good, and I believe it was off of his album when I met uh, I met you when I was 18. That shit got me addicted. It was like crack cocaine. I was immediately entrapped with his songwriting, with his melodies, and he quickly just became my my king of post choruses. Uh, in case you don't know what a, a post chorus is, a post chorus is the sing songy part after the chorus. <laughs> so the uh, oh, or you know whatever you know I, that was so bad. That was so bad. That's what a post chorus is. Ari is my king of post choruses. And if you really have only heard like his hits. This is a great opportunity for you to dive super deep into one of my favorite artists, easily in my top 10 favorite artists. Let's read a little bit about this album. He's been promoting this like crazy. Uh, and I think a month ago, he actually pushed it back because a lot of pop artists were coming out with 
projects and singles around the same time and I think he didn't want to get like lost in the noise you know and I get it whenever I release songs and you know a ton of my friends start releasing songs around the same time I feel like oh shit mine's definitely gotta get swept under the rug no one's gonna listen to this shit like goddamn so Ari has been doing something that I really think is overplayed in pop sphere where you're putting colors to your different albums. Now, there's a way to do it right and there, there's a way to do it wrong, in my opinion, but I think he's actually doing it really well. He has correlated each color to a different part of his personality. And I'm reading this off of uh, Genius right now. By the way, if you don't know, I have Genius up all the time. Purple is ex existential, <laughs> I relate. Blue is a hopeless romantic, I also relate. Or red is spicy, I also relate. Yellow is positive, trying to relate orange is a fuck boy goddamn and green is goofy he's been putting out these little videos on the youtube channel and on his ig and his acting is really good actually i was surprised because i think like a lot of the stuff that love actually puts out on twitter is super cringy i love it man i'm i'm i, I feed i feed into the cringe i i like it i think he's funny i think i get what he's trying to do and it comes off super genuine, which is something that you can't really say a whole lot about uh, artists, I feel like, nowadays in the pop sphere. And I'm psyched, dude. And, and actually, I didn't know this before, but on his genius, he has each song under the different categories with each personality. That's so sick. He's also got a few really, really solid features on this album that I'm super excited to listen to. So let's let me just shut the fuck up <laughs> and listen to these damn songs. Now, I, I, I tried to not listen to a few when I realized that it was gonna be a really big album, but I have heard a lot of these songs. So here we go, how I'm feeling, the first track I'm listening on Spotify. By the way, shameless plug, follow me on Spotify. Drugs and the Internet is the first song. I've heard this song, but I did not know. I had a feeling, I had a little feeling, I had a feeling that it was produced by the boy, by the boy, Johnny Bells, bro. Johnny mother frickin' Bells, dude, is on this song as a producer. If you're a fan of Johnny Bells like I am, <laughs> John Bellion, uh, you know that the, the those are his drums. Th those are absolutely his drums. And I'm sorry, one more thing before I start. Super sweet comments on the Louis video. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Uh, it means so much to me. I love reading through comments. I try to like and respond to as many as I can. So if you guys wanna leave a comment about what you guys think about this reaction video, or your favorite song or how I reacted to your favorite song. I love reading them. It makes my day. Also, speaking of the comment section, somebody asked me what headphones I was listening on in the last video. And I just wanted to say that I have no idea. It's an Audio Technica. <laughs> I'm doing the I'm doing the little influencer, what's it called? Makeup brand thing to try to make this focus. They're Audio Technicas. I listened on the Audio Technicas ATH M20X. I mix all my music on these. Uh, I listen to music on these. I record audio and I monitor audio through these and they're great. I love them to death. They're super flat, so I get a really good response out of them. Can't complain, just in case you guys are wondering. Pop those on real quick. Oh, damn. Yo, I didn't even realize that I had, oh man. Should I keep it? Angela kissed me this morning and I, I haven't washed it off. Maybe I should keep it. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. That's super cute, I love that. First song. Drugs in the internet. Here we go. Follow along with me with the <laughs> shot list right here. Not shot list, but the, the set list. Not the set list, but the album list. Ah! Oh, I'm so ADHD. Okay, let's do it. Another life, another story. And then I had to mute this video because for some reason AWOL blocked my video in literally every single country. Why would they do that? I really just love love. Like I'm literally praising him in this video. Why would they block this? Why would you do this? <laughs> All right, back into it. So that's what I'm talking about when I say post-chorus. Is that part after the chorus that you sing to? David, let's get a post-chorus um, counter up, up somewhere. See how many post-choruses we have. Strings. 
What a beautiful way to start an album. You start off beautiful, piano, keys, then he goes in to the drop in the So good, so good. And then he's gonna end with the string quartet, baby? What? The man knows what he's doing, okay? He's a professional, he's got a, he's just got a, he's got a grip, he's got a grip. On, on his brand, and I love when artists have a grip on their brand, and it's so, it's just so nice. But yeah, David, let's get a post-chorus counter somewhere on the screen, somewhere, if you, if, if, if you can. Thank you very much. To see how many post-choruses we have in these songs, because I will put money on the fact that I bet over half of them have post-choruses to them, because that's just how we write songs, and that's incredible. Next song is also one that I've heard before. I'm sure you guys have heard it too, if you're a big Lowell fan, is a fuck. I'm lonely. The beginning always throws me off. I always come in late. I literally always come in late with the... Hold on, let me try it again. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Damn it. Oh, yeah, can you? Do you know? Guess not. What you got you saying, bro? Oh, I remember in a Genius interview, they were talking about how uh, they were going to replace fuck with something else, uh, like a dog bark, and they played that version, and it sounded so bad. So I'm really glad that they kept fuck in there. I always hated that little... Ah! I just, I literally just know these lyrics. I'm not even looking, I, I'm looking at lyrics, but I'm not even looking at them, you feel me? Tight. So that one did not have a, uh, a post chorus. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So that one did not have a post chorus. So, okay, okay. Give me a run for my money on on that one. I just wanted to read this thing that he had. What inspired this song? Because it was really funny. The inspiration behind "Fuck I'm Lonely" was actually one of my favorite sandwich shops. It was. I was calling them. You see, you know, the first lyric that says like I call you one time two times three times I can't wait no more it's actually the sandwich shop that I had been trying to order chicken parm from but they weren't answering and I was like well shit I'm lonely I don't even have them <laughs> what the fuck this man's a fool bro this man is a goober and a goon and that song was so good this one's called lonely eyes and this is the first song that I haven't heard yet so I'm nervous. She was 16 the first time. She had her heart broken. Truth is, I never had mine. Ah. Oh. I don't mean to be rude. Oh. Oh. Dude, how is he so good? Oh my god, why is it so good? It's building, building. Oh, post chorus. Ah. Oh. God damn, it feels huge, dude. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Oh, what? That's hard. I can appreciate this post chorus actually though, because it's different. It's not like a sing back kind of thing. I mean. Never mind. <laughs> Dude, this is really good, man. This is this is really quality. Oh, we love a we love a relatable boy, dude. Yo, what the fuck? This is so good! <laughs> Dude, that's so clean, bro. Oh my god, dude. Honestly, I think that's a sleeper single, bro. That's so good, dude.
Lonely eyes, she had the lonely eyes. Oh, that's so good. I really appreciate Love's songwriting because all of his songs sound like him. And I know that's just a really basic statement to say, but like, it's something I struggle with as an artist. And when I hear it done so well from obviously a professional, I just appreciate it so much, man. Like all his songs sound like when you hear a song, it's like, damn, yeah, Love wrote that song for sure. Like just like Ed Sheeran and just like John Bellion, like you, you know, like you just know when they have a hand, like a really strong hand in their production. It's just really sick. Post chorus, ding, another one. <laughs> Produced by Love and Oh, oh, it's a group. It's called The Monsters and Strangers. That's cool. I've never heard of them before. Shout out The Monsters and Strangers. That's sick. Next song. It's called Sims. I've also heard it. And it's so good. Dum, 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 dum. Wish that you and I lived in Sims. What a, dude, someone needs to make a, somebody needs to make a version of the song with the sim language. Didn't, didn't Katy Perry do that shit for one of her songs? Like it was in the sims or some shit and she had a version of it that was, it was all sim talk. Somebody needs to make that. Someone, someone needs to make that meme. I'm going to have to just make that meme. Let's get back into it. I like how he uses the auto tune in here. Cause it's subtle and you can tell, but it's still really clean. Another thing I really love about Love is the fact that he always, um, he always puts in like, like whatever melodic thing he puts in, he always makes sure it, it has an, a rhythm to it that carries a song. And I really, I really like that because I, I hear it, I hear it a lot. See, uh, bouncing, bouncing. Oh, post chorus. Oh, it connects so well. Ooh, goddamn. Ooh. Oh, I said I wouldn't sing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's so it's so hard not sing. Oh, so good. Next song is called Believed. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Pen. The whole album is pen, bro. Dude, how do you think about shit like this, bro? That's crazy. Ooh. Oh, I like. Oh, that guitar is so clean, bro. What? Oh. What? Yo. Dude, what? How is it? Oh, yo. Yo. Uh. Oh, the whole thing's fucked, dude. Wow, dude. Wow. Whoa. That's a lot of attitude. I like that. Dude, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Old things fucked. Ah. Uh. Wow, dude. That's. Dude, he is so good at creating melodic aspects with rhythmic qualities that carry the whole song. I know I said it before, but goddamn, dude. Shut up today. Shut up today. Ah, it's, it's so good. Wow. I want to just highlight this one verse verse two it's three lines but holy shit he says and i wish 
I would have been patient instead of letting all emotions turn to motions with you. Yo! Y'all already know. Y'all already know it's coming. Pen, bro. A pen. David, please put a pen right here. <laughs> David, pen. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're gonna do that. I don't know if you're gonna do it, but I want you to do it. Okay, next song is called Billy. And okay, Billy was the one, was the only song that was written by apparently the green one. The song Love talks about his success, anxiety, and upcoming in his music career using the name of his dog Billy as the song's focus. Aw, he has a dog named Billy. Aw, that's so fucking cute. What the fuck? David, put it, put this picture in right here. Boom, right there. So cute. Such a good boy. Can't believe it. Wow. We stand. Let's listen. Oh. <laughs> okay, dude. What? Wow. Uh, really? For real? Dude, what? I'm sorry, can we run that back? Uno mas? Guitar, first of all, sick. Ah. Uh. Oh, he's a dog. <laughs> he's a dog. Come on, baby, hit me. Oh! <laughs> I was all over. Ooh, I like that when he just talks. Wow. Dude, that's spicy, bro. The goofy guy wrote this one? Dude, that beat is fucking spicy, dude. Wow. Wow, dude. I wish I could write a fucking song like this about my dog. What the fuck? Ooh, look who's laughing now, bitch. Billy ballin' now. <laughs> Energy. Ooh. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's so dope. Energy. Energy. Ooh. Oh, dude, that's. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Wow, dude. Okay, that song. Uh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite so far. Wow. Yep. That's uh. That's. Bonkers, dude. What? You wrote that about your dog and not Billie Eilish? <laughs> That's the first thing that I think about. He writes this on his genius and he said, I have no idea how this song happened. I went through a really shitty time. I got really, really depressed and I was diagnosed with OCD and depression. I relate, bro. So I wrote some songs about that, period. I ended up getting prescribed some antidepressants and woke up one week so unbelievably happily every day like crazy crazy. Within a week span, I bought a house, I got my dog, I bought all this art, I went crazy. And all my friends were like, yo, what the fuck is going on? You were just super depressed. This is not normal. <laughs> That's crazy. So cool, dude. I love when artists put stuff on Genius that we can, that like fans can read and shit. That's, that's so sick. Okay. This next song is called Feelings. I've heard this one before uh, and it's just, it's it's one of my all time favorite songs I've ever uh, heard from Love. So this is like one of the songs that I listen to when I'm in the mood to make some really good shit for my shit, you know? Is my love too much? Is it just... Oh, voice crack. <laughs> Count that as the post chorus, honestly. Whatever that, uh, whatever that fucking guitar is, is so dope. 
Uh, I need to figure out. I've been trying to figure out how he did that. No luck. I will report back. The next song is Canada featuring Alessia Cara. Now this shit, I did not even know was happening, bro. I am such a big fan of Alessia Cara, and I am so psyched to see her and her and hear her unbelievably smooth voice on this song, Canada. Let's check it out. I really like that guitar tone. He has a re he has really good guitar tones, honestly. Just really, really solid guitar tones. We can live in your bed. Mm, okay. It's almost like I've been here forever. Seems nice. Obsessed with your brain. Obsessed with your brain. I don't fall it if you let me. That sounds painful. What if we move to Canada and buy some things we don't need? <laughs> your mother's dog, your paper, shed some candy. And when they talk about those people who up and leave, that could be us. That could be you and me. Wow. Oh. Oh, that piano is so sweet. Come on. How you talk with you. Mm. <laughs> oh god how you talk with your hands hey what's up fool hey what's what's you doing bro <laughs> nice little little sing singy part Half time. Yo, a slide guitar? That's sick. Wow. Uh, that's another favorite. Holy shit, bro. Why don't we move to Canada, buy some things we don't need, bring your mother's dog, your paintbrush, and some candy. And when we talk about those people who up and leave, that could be us, that could be you and me. Man, that's so cool, dude. That's such a cool concept to write about. Produced by Sir Baby Girl. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Who the fuck is this shit, bro? Sir Baby Girl. Kelsey Ho Hugh? Better known as her... Our stage name, Sir Baby Girl, is an American singer-songwriter, Brooklyn, New York. Wow, cool. I love it. Beautiful production. You, they went halftime on the on the last chorus. I love when artists do that. Nobody does that anymore. Next one is called For Now, and I, st I haven't heard this one either. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Acoustic. I love that he plays all the instruments too. It's it's really it's really sick. He's one of those artists, you know the. The true musicians. I'll send you pictures all the time. I'm really gonna miss you, but I'll kiss you through the screen for now. Okay, soldier boy. You come home to me. Wow. This is great. I uh my girlfriend and I were actually long distance for like four years, so I Fucking relate, brother. What are we gonna do for now, bro? Dude, all of these freaking melodies sound so familiar. I think it's just his knack of songwriting. I think it's just skills. Pen. Man, I wish I wrote this song. Damn. That's how you know it's a really good song. When you wish you wrote it, it's like, shit, that's a really good song. Just come home to me. Wow, uh, another favorite? Holy crap, dude. I wish I wrote that fucking song, bro. <laughs> and this is definitely like a kind of song that like can be stripped down and like performed live, like super, just super intimate. God, I love that. I love that about him. Jeez. Next song is called Mean It, and it's featuring Laney, bro. 
I've heard this song. I've seen the music video. It's it's awesome. And Laney is the dude from Laney. Paul Klein is an incredibly handsome human being. Uh, and especially in the Mean It music video or the lyric video, whatever they did. Um, holy shit, dude. What a fucking handsome ass guy. Let's jam the fuck out. <laughs> Small talk, no conversation. That look makes me impatient. Change your mind. If you what? If you change your mind. Mm -hmm. All I'm all in. When I heard the song for the first time, I thought you said, and oh, and I, I thought he said, and oh, I'm balling. I'm balling. Or crying, bawling, I don't know. But it feels right to you. Uh. But I'm all in. I'm all in. falling faster. And if you're looking at me with a heart of doubt. Uh. Also want to quickly say, <laughs> I know you guys hate it when I pause this shit. Ari's voice, in his chest voice, his, his transitional voice, that when he goes to his head voice, or his falsetto, uh, it's so smooth, and uh, it's the one thing I, I want to put on my bagel in the morning because it's so smooth, and it goes on so creamy, and it's just so delicious. So just want to say that real quick. <laughs> just to let me down, uh, just to let me down, down, down. Hey, on your lips, just leave it. Uh, if you don't mean it. Ooh. Uh. You know you got me in the palm of your head. But I love those hands. Uh. <laughs> Sick. Okay, so the next one is... Tell My Mama. I have a song mentioning my mama, too. It's called Plead the Fifth. Huh, interesting. Great minds think alike. Let's listen. <laughs> Core progression, solid, solid core progression. Short. really just invokes a really clean emotion that I feel like a lot of people can feel. <sighs> wow, dude. That's just... Man. Another song I wish I wrote, dude. Halfway through the album already, honestly can say, uh, I love every song. This next one is called Sweatpants, and I, and I haven't heard it. <sighs> Ooh, some jazzy chords. Oh, I love when he does jazzy chords, bro. Paris in the Rain is one of my favorite songs. Ooh, spicy. Oh, that's a chorus. Interesting. It's that, it's that elevator beat. Good. 
dude, that song is funky, bro. I love when he gets funky, dude. Like, I really like his pop shit, but I know he's got chops as, like, a jazz guitarist. I know he does. So I love when he just does shit like that. Like, that's so hard, bro. With the trap beat underneath it. Oh, yo. Oh, it's just so clean. Ah, oh, wow. Wow. What a man. What a man. Now we have a song that's been getting a lot of fire emoji things on, on a genius. It's called Who, and it's featuring BTS. Wow. BTS. I don't know how I feel about BTS. I haven't honestly listened to their songs yet. But one thing I can say, though, is that their fan base is either super dope or super shitty. And that's kind of the only thing that I know about BTS. I haven't taken the time to listen yet. Maybe I will. Let me know in the comments if you want me to react to BTS. I'll, see, I'll do it. And uh, yeah, let's take a listen, bro. It's called Who. It kind of starts like that one Ariana Grande song, the one that's uh, from Sound of Music, the only, only the beginning though. Ooh, it's kind of dark. I kind of like it. Dude, his range is crazy, bro. All right. Jungkook and Jimin. I dude, I know these boys got pipes. Oh yeah, that's Jimin. This is definitely like a huge stadium song. I can see just like all the lighters and all the phones in the air, you know, waving back and forth. That's, that's good, dude. Dude. Okay, wait, it's BTS, but it, it's just these two fellas. I'm gonna butcher these names and I'm sorry if I do. Uh, Jungkook and Jimin, Jungkook and Jimin. Dude, their verse was sick, bro. They each had like two lines, but that was rad. I love that. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Troy Saban. My namesake. <laughs> so I just want to, before we get into I'm so tired. Wow, dude, he can belt. I've never really heard Lao belt, but holy shit, dude. And their voices match so well. So well. And wait, they came out with another song? BTS released a song with, oh, featuring La. Oh, so they're just, they're just trading back and forth. I like that. Cool. Okay. Make it right. I gotta listen to that song afterwards. Next song. Okay. I'm so tired. I love the guitar in this. It just doesn't stop. 
Where's my guitar? Still going. I really like that part. Montreux. Ah. Strangers. Leave, I go back to the hustle. Oh, Lost in the sound. First cut season. You're still around. Can I miss you? I need you now. Uh. Oh, so good. Oh, God, that song is so fucking good, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, so this song is in Spanish, I believe. It's, and I'm going to butcher this again because I'm sorry. I am, unfortunately, a Caucasian. I'm going to try, though. L. Tejando with Sofia Reyes. I know Sofia Reyes. She's sick and I love her, but I haven't heard the song. Let's get into it. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's totally different. What the fuck is gonna happen? Oh my God. Spicy. Wow. Dude, that's so spicy. Did the spicy one write this one, dude? Did the spicy one write this one? I'm going to check right, right really quick. Dude, that is a totally different vibe than what I was expecting from this album. I was expecting straight pop shit bro straight up solid ass pop music but i'm getting the spicy yeah red is spicy yes hey <laughs> yo ah oh, dude this is saucy bro this is the kind of sauce that i i want from wow wow listen to that vocal Wow, dude, that's uh, that's so sick, bro. I love that. God damn. Next song is called Tattoos Together, and I've heard this one, but it's still so good. And uh, hope you guys jam out with me. Mm. Did you? Mm. <laughs> Soon, fuck it, whatever. Give me shapes and letters. I love you. Mm -hmm. oh, great post chorus. Wonderful post chorus. Oh shit! I love you, baby. Shouts out. <laughs> My song, I love you, baby. Let's <laughs> get tattoos together. Something to remember. If it's way too soon, fuck it. Such a good post chorus, dude. Can't get over that. It's so good. I love you. Dude, I saw on Twitter that people were saying like, "Hey, yo, love, you know, you copied 1975 music video." Like, I don't understand how people don't realize that these sets at like Warner Brothers Studios like exist for this exact reason for like people to shoot music videos on like they rent them and they get a cast and yeah you're gonna see similar sets for sure you know but doesn't mean that anyone's copying anybody like it's a whole street it's like a whole street 
set up for Broadway. If you haven't seen the music video, it's really good. You should check it out. Although I will say, I like the 1975 in that, I forgot what song, Sincerity is Scary, I think? Yeah, uh, I like their music video more than the Love one. Uh, but that's just because I'm an even bigger fan of 1975, so. Sorry, sorry. Still an incredible video. So good, so sick. Let's keep it going. Let's keep going through changes. Next one is changes. <laughs> I hope so, dude. I hope it's gonna work out, man. God damn, I love that song. I really like how he makes every chorus different. Like, he starts off with just the piano and the, and the kick drum and the bass, and then he'll add, like, little little intricate little things, and then at the end, it's a big-ass chorus with, like, a, a p bigger drum kit, and it's just it's such a it's such a mood. But, uh, yeah, next one, Sad Forever. God, I haven't, there's not a, like, uh, all of these singles that he's released, I've loved so much, so I feel like me going through this album is just me being like, yeah, I've heard the song, and it's, and it's sick, so let's, let's jam. The ones I haven't heard, oh my god, so good. I'm really excited for Invisible Things and Julia, so let's move on. Sad Forever, here we go. Daydream, life is like a daydream. This song is produced by Halitrax. That's interesting. Who's Halitrax? Uh, chorus. Psych? <laughs> As I say, I've listened to this song before and I don't even know the parts. How does he make a sad song dancey? How does he do that, bro? I don't get it. Dude, ah, man. Honestly, though, I love that song so much. Uh, love has gotten me through some tough shit. And honestly, man, I'm just so fucking happy that he actually came out with this album. Because I, I was so ready, dude. I was so ready. I was waiting. When he pushed it back, I was like, oh, why? Felt like someone just ripped a dagger out of my chest when he said he pushed it back. I was like, no, come on, bro. Next song. Invisible things. Can't wait to see what this one's about. Don't even know. What could this be about? Invisible things? Like love. Also, another credit for the monsters and strangers. Wow, dude, what? Do you still remember the way that we felt when we were kids? I wonder if that place still exists. This is him. This is just him. We lived for the moment and fear was a stranger to our lips. Wow. Wow. Oh, I love that little... Oh, that's so sick, dude. What? How does he think about that? That's crazy. Okay. I just want to say something. In 2020, I really think that a lot of pop artists are going to start putting more, like, Foley sounds, like breathing. Charlie Puth had that thingy in one of his songs. Halsey had a thing, too. Uh, oh, yeah, it was the... It was that shit. It was the... That shit in uh, I keep, uh, Graveyard. I keep digging myself down deeper. That shit. Uh, and then Love just said, shh. In that, I think it's really going to come around a lot more. I think 2020 will be the year of the Foley sounds. Wow. Yeah. 
Sick, dude. I, I, I really, I really enjoy that song. This is the one though. This is called Julia. And I just want to say something. When Julia Michaels, I don't even know if the song is about Julia Michaels. It probably is though. But when Julia Michaels writes songs, they just mean more to me. She is, I don't even have the words to describe Julia Michaels. She's a phenomenon. She's an anomaly. She's probably the best songwriter I've heard all year and I'm just finding out about her, I don't know how. Yeah, the music video with Love and her, uh, with There's No Way That We're Not Going There or whatever, that there's no way that we're not going there. And I'm looking at it, looking at each other. There's no way that it's not going there. The chemistry they had in that video, oh, it's undeniable, bro. It's undeniable, it's undeniable. They need to, they, oh wow. Just wow, dude. Let's listen to this fucking song. Oh shit. Oh, it's a fucking voice memo, dude. When we met, oh, he started over. I was in me. Oh, oh, wow, dude. Wow. Ha. <sighs> dude, he's hurting. Is that it? What the fuck did he do to Julia Michaels? <laughs> what the f what the fuck did you do, bro? Jeez, man. Oh, they dated. I didn't even know they dated. <sighs> Damn. That's a really powerful song, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm tearing up. What a what the balls on this man to to literally put her first name in this album. That's crazy. Last one, Modern Loneliness. And I've heard it. So let's just jam. <laughs> Last song, baby. Woo! Oh man, I'm so happy about this album, dude. Holy shit, bro. God damn. And this is so sad. Same, dude, honestly. I've been thinking about my dad a lot. And I. This song. Perfect timing. Mmm. Hit me with it, baby. Loneliness. Always depressed, yeah. Of my friends to death, but I never call them. I never test, yeah. Lottie, da di da, yeah. You get what you give, and you get what you get, yeah. Modern loneliness. We love to get high, but we don't know how to come down. He said that every time he sings this song, he cries, and uh boy i have a song that i've that i'm writing that's like that and i feel you bro it's it's tough it's just really hard to do Always suppress, yeah. Modern loneliness. Mm. And that's the end of the album. Wow. So sick, dude. So sick. All right, everybody. That is the album. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Just to name a few of my favorite songs that I will definitely be having on repeat for this whole year probably uh billy canada for now tell my mama sweatpants changes julia i don't know if i'm gonna be able to listen to julia because i'll probably cry and I, if i found out that if i listen to these songs in the car and they're emotional songs and i start crying it's bad because i might get in a car accident because i can't see so julia will probably stay in my headphones <laughs> 
but all these other ones, holy shit. Ari, you have outdone yourself. Your, from your pen, to your production, to your team, to your, you know, your brand, the quality of this, uh, the music, the quality of the content, it's just, it's so unbelievable. And I, I can't believe that I've been around him and, and his sound for so long uh, to see it evolve and grow to something that's just so beautiful. I feel so many ways. The biggest thing that I feel right now though is just happy because finally I get an album that I can keep on repeat for so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from your boy, subscribe down below and smash that little, uh, little bell button to be actually notified. I don't know why, I don't know why YouTube makes a subscribe button if they're not going to tell you when the person puts out videos so click the little bell button to be notified whenever i post actually like at, when i actually post but other than that follow me on all my social media and grab me on spotify the little track underneath that david puts underneath all my little talking parts is actually the background of my new song mona lisa if you want to go check that out on spotify uh i'll be forever indebted to you so thank you guys so much have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Peace.